Hey there and welcome to another video. My name is Hugh and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to download uh, historical data in MetaTrader 5. This can be a little bit tricky especially if you're used to downloading data in MetaTrader 4 because it's a little bit different. And I'll also show you how to upload custom data if you want to use uh, data from a different broker or from a different data provider. All right so first of all why do you need to have as much historical data as possible in MetaTrader 5? And this is because you want to be able to see uh, previous support and resistance levels. You want to see previous market fluctuations, previous market cycles. And you can't see that if you only have a couple years of data. So before you get started with anything in MediTrader 5, you want to download all of the data. Here's how you do that. Go to the symbols button here with the dollar sign, this yellow uh, button with the dollar sign, or you can also go to uh, view and then symbols. Or you could also press Control U on your keyboard and that will get you the same place. Okay, so the setup here, like I said, is a little bit different from MetaTrader 4. So these will be all the symbols that you have in MetaTrader 5. And in order to download the data, you just go up here to the tabs, you go to bar. All right, from there, just select the market that you want to download. In this case, I'm going to use the USD Japanese Yen. Click, double click on that. Then select the time frame. Um, I would recommend getting the one minute since that's the smallest bar that you can get. And the to and from dates, usually that will be okay to use as is because this goes back to 2003, which is perfect. Then just hit request and the data will download. Now once it's downloaded, you can see all of the data in the table. And then here you can see the pair, the time frame, and the number of bars that were downloaded. So if you need to update your MetaTrader 5 data, um, you can update it and you'll see this number go up. Now, if you want to download ticks, you can go over to the ticks tab. Most people won't need this unless you are doing some really detailed backtesting or you do trade on the tick chart. So same deal here, select the market that you want, select the type of ticks you want, and then select the uh, to and from date, hit request, and the data will download. But again, most people won't need this. So I would stick to the bars if you are unsure which one you need. All right, so once you download the bars or the ticks, that data will appear on your chart. Now you can also create custom symbols and that will allow you to upload data uh, to MetaTrader 5. So in order to do that, hit the create custom symbol button down here. It will give you the custom symbol uh, information. And then what you can do is you can just copy the information from any of the existing um, markets that are set up. So for example, let's say that you wanted to uh, get some data or upload some data for the Aussie CAD. Uh, so just double click that and it will populate all of this information about the Aussie CAD. Now you might want to change some of this information if your uh, broker is different. For example, the number of digits might be different. But the thing that you do want to change is this first line, the symbol name. So you can put uh, something like broker one or something like that to identify the fact that the data is coming from another source. So just double click that first line, um, add in whatever you need to in the name and then hit import and then it'll go to uh, the file whatever file you downloaded from your data provider or your broker just upload that file here and then that will uh, bring the data in and you'll get a new symbol uh, so when you go over to specification it'll show custom and if you upload a forex pair you will see that here and it'll appear on the right here are a couple that i did um, as an example. So that's how you upload custom data into MetaTrader 5. All right, so that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you want to see any other types of videos, leave that in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to get notifications. And thanks for watching.